two Samoans are in there. Uh, Billy White Wolf, uh, Chavo Correro, and of course the Andre the Giant, and many, many more. Even Baba the Giant was uh, including in this great battle world. And I'm hoping, Tony, that uh, uh, I'm still negotiating for the Giant Papa and also for uh, Andre the Giant and uh, many, many more uh, wrestlers to, to participate in this great battle world coming up in the summer. Well, you know, Chief, it's been a great job you've done because you've signed up some great names like the Mephisto, Rick Martel, and you've got the Davidson brothers coming down. And people, this is going to be a spectacular event. It's going to be wrestling, fantasia, and it's excitement. Like right now, you've seen the people over there, they're having a great time because Summer Battle Royal is one of the best battle royal ever held in this here islands. And the uh, excitement, the most exciting part about it is that there are going to be two rings plus a $20,000 and a trophy. Chief, I cut a hand it to you. You come up with some winners. Well, you know, this uh, battle royal last uh, year that uh, uh, you know, out of the blue, out, out of all these uh, big names, that out of the blue, you know, Siva, can you believe that? That Siva Afi uh, was the winner of this great battle royal. And for some reason, Siva Afi sneaked around and sneaked around all night long. And all of a sudden, he was left alone there with the, uh, with uh, two or three other uh, wrestlers. And then it was something that the people didn't expect. However, as I say again, Tony, that uh, I'm trying to negotiate so that be able to get the Andre the Giant out here for, for this year, Battle Royal. And of course, uh, we have uh, uh, the Destroyer uh, and many, many more, which I hope to for the next, you know, we've got only six more wrestlers to include in this great Battle Royal for June the 20th. And I hope that we'll be able to get this uh, big time wrestler and of course, the uh, well known all over the world. Well, you know, it's going to be something for people to see these big men coming down to uh, their island and uh, uh, competing for the prize money of twenty thousand dollars, Chief. And I tell you, this is going to be uh, like great people like Steve Alfie. We have missed him a long time, and uh, for you to get him back over here, you know, I'm sure the people feel uh, much mahalo towards you, and uh, they wish to thank you for bringing Steve Alfie back home and uh, bringing uh, Rick Martel. And, uh, now there you're talking about Ricky Martel. Now he is a young man that he, he's uh, a great likable and he's a great wrestler. And uh, of course uh, he had he's got a great follower here in Hawaii. And it's great to see him in this battle world. And I hope that he'll become the the winner. Who knows? Uh, but there'll be great wrestlers and great names will be in this 20-man uh, battle world plus two rings, as you said earlier. And of course with the trophy. And a twenty thousand dollar pyramid. Whoa, that's a great. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, Tony, thank you for being with me uh, in ringside. But what can I say? Time is uh, does not permit and ensure that the folks out there will enjoy seeing this battle. Royale. But don't forget, folks, this Wednesday night, Gil Hayes going against a handsome Roy Star. Wrestling. You're watching what this man is going at, Mr. Collins. Well, I can tell you this, my via. Wednesday night, I lost the Polynesian title, something that meant more to me than anything else in the world. And I lost it to Mr. Gil Hayes. Pull my trunks. However, the referee didn't see it. Nobody else saw it, and nobody else cared about it. So I'm gonna tell you something out there, people. I'm gonna tell you something just like it is, plain and simple. Tried, I tried to go the nice way and do the things by the rules and the regulations. But you know something? Nice guys always end up on the bottom or end up last. Let me ask you one thing, Mr. Collins. Last week, you lost the title, and you take it out on everybody. That includes me, and I thought you were my friend. I was your friend after all these years, and all of a sudden, uh, you hit me for nothing, and uh, now it seems to me that you're turning again to your own usual uh, self. <laughs> I've got news for you, my via. Anybody from now on that gets in my way, including you or whomever, 
you're going to see the old Ripper Collins, only a new, meaner, and ornerier Ripper Collins, because something was stolen from me that is very precious. And I tell you something else, Mr. Vivey. Uh, I intend to take the White Angel, and I'm going to dump him like yesterday's garbage, and I'm going to be the new Hawaiian champion on Wednesday night at Block Arena. And I can tell you this, anybody, and I don't care who it is, that should get into my way, inside that squared circle at Block Arena or the Blaisdell or anywhere else. Look out, because I'm gonna knock you right on your can and it's gonna get awful hot around here because I'm gonna be worse than I ever was and things could go up in... <laughs> uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Collins, uh, last week, uh, you sure got yourself into a lot of mess with the White Angel. I haven't gotten myself into anything. I think the Angel has took a bigger bite of the sandwich than he wants. Let me tell you something, Angel. You just had a small taste of what is ready to be dished out. Your officials here are the pits. I want to tell you that right now. They don't appreciate great talent. But I can tell you this, Angel. You are in for one long night at Block Arena on Wednesday. And nothing was really settled. But this Wednesday at Block Arena, you're going to think that a tornado has gone through you and you're not going to know which way it came from, how hard it hit, or which way it went. Because I am going to prove to the people... Excuse me, excuse, excuse me, me uh, Mr. Collins. You know, you've been making a lot of promises to the people and uh, to everybody else. <laughs> you made a statement uh, about yourself. You know, to me, all of a sudden, your, your heart is, seems to be uh, going the other way around. You know why? Because people didn't appreciate me when I tried to be a nice guy. But I'm not a nice guy. I don't want to be a nice guy, and like I told you before. Angel, you're in a lot of trouble on Wednesday, and you or anybody else that sticks your nose in one of my matches, I'm going to flatten it against your face, Chief. Boy, oh boy. Wrestling fans, this is... Uh... An extra uh, action for you this evening, and of course, is the big battle royal that we had. And uh, just to show you and reminding you that this battle royal again will be in Hawaii in June, June the 15th. So put that down in your in your calendar, and remember, it's action, action. And of course, as you see, you got the great. Uh, Andre the Giant, the, the two Samoan brother, Afa and Sika, and of course, another giant from Japan, Giant Baba, and uh, many, many more. So don't forget, remember, in June, that will be the biggest battle royal here in Hawaii. Right now, it's acting as you can see, folks, and believe me, that's what you're going to get. It's action, action, action in the battle world you can see barbara is going he's chopping everybody down and the, also the giant andre the giant is right in there folks this is once in a year that this kind of matches come into hawaii and of course you can see victor rivero right there with his back on the camera and also the two samoans and, uh, of course, Andre the Giant is looking on. <laughs> Believe me, folks, don't forget in June that we're going to have a two-ring battle royal. So just mark that down because it's going to be fantastic. But until next week, folks, don't forget, we'll see you the same time at ringside. NBC Australia, Wednesday, 8 p.m., Polynesian Promotion present Hawaiian Championship Wrestling. Main event, Polynesian and Hawaiian belts on the line. Polynesian champion, special event, John Tolers, the Golden Greek, going against the assassin Tamatanga, a tag team thriller, Victor Rivera from Puerto Rico, pairing up with King Ripper Collins, going against High Chief Peter Maivia and from a boy Ipo. Polynesian tag team championship, Hiro Sasaki and Mr. Kuruzi, going against Sakali and Big Bad Mike. Special midget match, Curtis Tudua and Little Kevin, Mighty Milo and Tony Hall. Also, Paul Fanene were going against Tui Salinga. 
plus one more match. For reservation, call 521-2911 or 946-4. She's done everything that a horse should do. Work good. Done. Get your tickets now. For those people who have never run across, and if you're out late at night and you see one that big in an alley, please make a U-turn and call a cab going the other direction because they are big and mean. Yeah, that's Austin in there. There's Buddy Diamond. Sifa Afi right there in the corner fighting with one another. Andre the Giant still pounding away. That's Victor Rivera in the, the blue trunks. I finally got a good view of him. Big Vic Rivera, Puerto Rican from New York. Uh-oh, one of the Samoans, the big guy's over with Andre now in the corner. And there goes his brother. Andre's in trouble now. If he's got both those guys on him, he's got problems. Seven foot four don't mean nothing when you got two big Samoans that are about six foot seven, weigh 390 pounds apiece on you. Look at Sifa and Colt going at it over here in this corner. Back and forth. One, two. Oh, ho! <laughs> Baba's out. I see Baba's been eliminated, and Mr. Colt just took a fly right over the top rope. Goodbye, Blondie. Tell us tomorrow how nice it was. There goes another gentleman over the top rope. Whoa, he didn't hit the floor. He came back. A reverse head scissor, and it looks like Mr. Rivera. Oh, no. Excuse me, Rivera didn't hit the ropes. The other gentleman hit the floor. Rivera's back in the ring. The battle Royal, you must go over the top rope and hit the floor. If you hit the apron, you can come back in. Rivera ducked. Another gentleman just went out. Look at this. Andre picked up Rivera. Ooh, a big atomic drop in Rivera right over the top rope to the floor. Uh-oh, I see now left in the ring, Sifa. Wild Man Austin, the two big Samoans, and Andre the Giant. Andre is after the Wild Man. It looks like he, no, I was going to say he teamed up with Sifa a little bit, but he just whacked Sifa a good one, too. Of course, $5,000 to the winner, $5,000 to buy a few taters and beans, I'll tell you that. Over here to buy some Lao Lao and Poi. Andre is pounding on Sifa now. The two Samoans, oh, one of the Samoans is after Andre. Austin's just standing back, kind of uh, biding his time. He's smart. Why get in there and take punishment if you don't have to? Sifa's fighting back now. He's got a hard time. Oop, he's trying to he's trying to tell Andre, let's get those guys over there. Come on, be my buddy. Come on, Andre. You and me, babe. Let's do it. Aha, uh -huh. maybe Andre finally seen the light. Two against three. Here we go. Oh, ho! beautiful little move. Andre picks him up. He kicks him down. <laughs> That's a nice combination. Hello. Right in the face. My friend Rip Taylor would say, hello. Hello, right in the face. <laughs> Come on, see for that a boy. Give it to him. Andre with a big, big punch on one of the Samoans. These two guys look so much alike, it's hard to tell them apart. So all you can say is just seek and offer the big Samoans. They are mean and rugged. Andre's got a headlock on one. Austin comes in. Andre chopped him right down. One of the Samoans got Sifa in some trouble now. Oh, Sifa fights back. Sifa is the most improved young wrestler of today, I can tell you that. The gentleman's going to go a long, long, ooh. Right into Andre's stomach, they run Sifa. Uh-oh, they both teamed up on Andre now. Notice Austin lurking in the background. Uh oh, they've got Andre tied in the rope. They've got his arm in the rope now. Sifa is thrown through the ropes, not over the rope. You've got to go over the top rope. Oh, all three of them now on Andre. The two Samoans and wild man Austin. Really great when they got it. Oh, hello! Bigfoot! Throw the two Samoans together. Andre is a tough individual, ladies and gentlemen. He's big, and he can take it and dish it out. Do you see how he grabbed that guy? Look. Well, look at this. 290 pounds. He just sets him right over to the floor. Big Samoans are right now. Oop, watch it, Andre. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Uh-oh. Andre and one of the Samoans is out. The other Samoans in the ring. 
No, he's not. Sifa drop kicked him out. Sifa was through the ropes. Ladies and gentlemen, there's your winner, $5,000. Sifa Afi. Stay tuned. We're going to have to cut away, but we'll be right back. Here's great news for fans at ringside right now you see the man with a beautiful and colorful and gorgeous gown uh, none other than the King Ripper Collins himself and of course his partner the great big bad Mike going against Hiro Sasaki and of course the young handsome Roy Starr and of course ladies and gentlemen Roy Starr was not supposed to be in this match it's just one of those things that he was fall into it however he accept that uh, being asked by Hiro Sasaki to be his partner therefore he's in there in that square circle right now the four men are ready to go to go into battle as the gladiators and of course the crowd here is very anxious to see this action on this tag team championship and of course right now uh, we also have tough Tony Hall beside me and uh, Tony, welcome uh, ringside. And of course, uh, what do you think of uh, Ripper Collins? Let's talk about uh, Big Bad Mike. And of course, he's got a fantastic physique and a big frame of body. Well, he's thank you very much, Chief. Uh, that man there, I swear, he's got about 25 inches uh, arms there. And uh, it takes a lot of work to build uh, a body up like that. And, uh, I bet you the man been to the gym every day. And I couldn't imagine myself uh, having a headlock applied on by that man. Well, talking about uh, a headlock being applied, uh, you know, uh, Roy Starr's got the headlock there. And of course, Roy Starr, uh, his arm is about 22, 23. I guess he works out every day in the gym. And right now, he's in trouble there between uh, Ripper Collins and his partner, the Big Bad Mike. Oh, well, there's a tag right there, Chief. And uh, now uh, let's see the matchup right there of the arms. And uh, people can distinctively see the how huge the arms is on that guy, Big Bad Mike. Well, Tony, you can hear the people uh, shouting uh, and they're really getting excited of this tag team championship uh, match. And, of course, Roy uh, is coming, uh, coming along fine. And, uh, you know, since he's been in Hawaii, he has shown uh, great potential as becoming one of the greatest wrestlers in uh, our days and of course none taking away from Hiro Sasaki and also the other two men uh, King Ripper Collins he's been well known of his uh, tactics and uh, sometime uh, he played possum and sometime that uh, you think he's okay but then again he turns right back into his old ways as you can see now that he's working on Roy Starr he gave him a now Roy Starr is making a comeback he hit uh, Ripper Collins in the midsection and of course a right to the head now Big Mike, Mike is coming into there and uh, hey, you see what uh, that Big Bad Mike did. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of foul play going on there. And of course, you know, Ripper is the king of the foul plays. You <laughs> never know what he's up to, you know. And uh, there goes Roy Star. Whoops. I'll tell you, this uh, Big Bad Mike is going to go a long way in this uh, professional. Uh, Tony, uh, he's got the potential there. He's got the build and the frame. And of course, uh, that's what needs in this uh, professional uh, to be a great wrestler you have to be rugged and tough and you can be able to give and take at the same time and right now uh, Big Bad Mike is taking it of course Collins jumps in there trying to interfere uh, Hiro Sasaki is in the square circle now and he's working on uh, Big Bad Mike Tony I tell you it's an exciting uh, championship match and of course with this four men showing their calibre of uh, being a professional wrestler, you know, it's amazing. And, of course, the people is with it uh, as well. Yeah, it's very, very hard, you know, for people that are watching it not being there of how much excitement there was. You know, the air was filled with excitement and the people was all going, you know. I was, I'm really surprised that people just watch TV and never come down. Because I want to tell those people out there, if you have missed this match, you missed a lot. Well, right now, they're missing this uh, uh, Ripper Collins and Roy Starr is in the ring. And Ripper, of course, ripped the eyes. And uh, I'm in the back there, another a short uh, knuckles in the face there by, by Ripper. Now, Roy Starr comes back with a right to the head, right to the stomach, and another right 
And of course, right in the far side there, you see a little bit of action with Hiro Sasaki just came up with a beautiful drop kick. He went for another drop kick, but he missed. Holy smoke, folks, you mix all the action at the Blaze Tail Center. Stay right there. We'll be right back with more action. Well, Tony, here we are back in the action again. And of course, the two gladiators we're looking at, or we're watching it, uh, the handsome uh, Roy Stars and King Ripper Collins. And of course, right now, Roy Star seems uh, getting the best of it. And of course, Hiro Sasaki's got the side head lock and they run the hits together. My goodness, Tony, do you see that? You know, Tony, I like to, you know, I see that uh, you had some uh, uh, some friends and families who came to support you. You know, it's fantastic to see that kind of support because uh, I think it's great. Well, Chief, I like taking the opportunity to say salamat, tomo arigato, and uh, a big mahalo to all my fans out there for supporting me last night. I sure appreciate it, and I hope you do it again this coming Wednesday at the place there. Which we're going to have... Uh, oh, this will be the Block Arena this coming Wednesday, uh, Tony. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you know, the only thing is, I hope that um, Tony's uh, fans and uh, whoever's your, your, your favorite wrestler come out this Wednesday night and be there earlier so that you can get yourself uh, a better seat and watch the action of championship wrestling. You know, uh, all you wrestling fans, you always complain about this, uh, not getting enough uh, action in wrestling and you're not getting enough wrestling. Well, believe me, Ladies and gentlemen, come out this Wednesday night at the Block Arena. And as I say, get your ticket earlier and get your seat and uh, prepare yourself for that night of action because it's action all the way. Right, brother? Oh, it's the biggest, <laughs> biggest action thriller. The Block Arena on Wednesday night. If you don't come down, my friend, I guarantee you're going to miss that excitement that we're having right now as we're looking at it. And if you think that's something, Try it, block her in the next Wednesday. And you'll see the high chief over there, Ripper yeah. Collins, Gail Hayes. Everybody. Everybody. Be, yeah. You know, uh, talking about uh, Tony right now, Roy Starr seems to get, be in trouble there. He's uh, Big Bad Mike and the King Ripper Collins himself is working. Uh, uh, Roy Starr's there. there. You see uh, Ripper is going right back in his old ways, you know, pulling the hair. Never trust uh, him. Don't ever turn your back on him whenever you face him because the man is being uh, a veteran in, uh, in this uh, uh, professional wrestling uh, for many, many years. And I have a lot of feud with him, uh, Tony. Believe me, the man is very untrustable. And of course, at one time I thought he was a friend, but now he's uh, got himself a, a new partner, which is the man he's got uh, 20, 25 uh, inch arm and of course uh, with the body goes with it it's going to be a tough team uh, uh, to beat however right now uh, Roy Star seems to do great well <laughs> he, he, that young man that young man is very uh, good in the ring and I'm telling you chief with friends like Ripper Collins who needs enemies huh? <laughs> well as I said uh, ladies and gentlemen I might as well admit myself commit myself right now to the uh, asking of uh, Hiro Sasaki to be his tag team partner this coming Wednesday. Well, you know, Tony, I, I really, I know that uh, Hiro Sasaki had a hard time here. And of course, uh, now he wants me to be his partner. And I'm sure glad and more than happy to, uh, to abide him of, of his wishes. So I'm going to be his partner and believe me, I'm going to do everything I can because I've got an old feud with uh, Ripper Collins, and believe me, Tony, it's going to be something that uh, out of this uh, blue. I don't know what's going to happen, but believe me, I'm going to do everything I can uh, to settle this argument once and for all. <laughs> well, Chief, I tell you, people, you heard that. You heard it from High Chief Peter Maidi. He's going to be Hiro Sasaki's partner, and I tell you, it's going to be action at its Piss. Well, right now, Tony Hiro Sasaki is doing great in there. He's got that. And he, of course, uh, don't take anything away from uh, Hiro uh, Sasaki. He can play the, the dirty uh, side, too. You know, as you can see, he's choking uh, King Ripper Collins. 
And uh, the referee, uh, Wade Okuda, is looking on, trying to break it. Here's uh, Big Bad Mike came in, raked the ice, and of course, Hiro Sasaki let go. A beautiful uh, right shot on the face, and another one. And of course, Hiro Sasaki went down. <laughs> no wonder Hiro Sasaki had to ask me for uh, his partner, because I think, uh, you know, they, they, they went against uh, two men they think that they were going to beat. Of course, they overweight them. And, uh, you know, look at this uh, man uh, standing right here with the uh, with, uh, side headlock on, uh, on Hiro Sasaki. It's a, it's a giant. Gee, I could feel that right here, Chief. I feel those arms going around that head, and I tell you. And, uh, you know, talking about uh, action, action, uh, we always talk about that. But on uh, June the 24th, this big battle royal, the summer battle royal, Tony, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. And, um, you know, every big name is coming into Hawaii once again to open the summer uh, battle royal. And, of course, for the summer season. And it's great. Uh, you mentioned some names. You know, uh, the great names, uh, the great Mephistos coming in. Ricky Martel, the handsome Ricky Martel, where all the young girls and the young ladies are all going after him when he was here. And he's one of the popular uh, wrestler ever uh, came out to Hawaii. You know that, Tony. And oh. uh, uh, believe me, we've got some great uh, Terrific. people coming in. Terrific. I tell you, Chief, this is going to be the battle royal at its best. And the part about it is the two rings. Two rings, first time ever in Hawaii. Two ring battle royal. And I tell you, all you people out there, don't you forget that day because it's one of the best date there is. And you will regret a moment of it because it's gonna be action plus a $20,000 battle royal. And plus the trophy as well, you know. Oh yeah, the trophy, that's right. Not counting the two, uh, two uh, uh, wrestling rings for the first time here in Hawaii. Uh, ever been held uh, right here in Hawaii this is the two ring which uh, a man will be throwing either throw uh, over across the other side of the of one ring or go over the top rope uh, and of course to be pinned and that's the rules of the battle royals and this one is going to be a tough one and believe me the last year battle royal was something fantastic there's a one two three and of course the winner is King Ripper Collins and Big Bad Mike. And they are the new uh, Polynesian Tag Team Champion. Uh, well, what can I say, uh, Tony? Well, I say it all along. Uh, the two men uh, outweighed uh, Roy Starr and uh, Hiro Sasaki. And of course, uh, Roy Starr was being throwing out. And uh, they ganged up on uh, Hiro Sasaki. This is what Hiro was saying about that they ganged up on him. And of course, they close lined him and pinned him. Well, now is the new Polynesian Tag Team Champion. And of course, folks, what else can we say? Tony, it's uh, uh, one of the greatest uh, tag team match. But stay right there, folks. We'll be right back with more action. <laughs> Let me introduce to you the uh, king of these here islands. You don't need to say another word there, Mr. Tony Hall. <laughs> Flash! News flash! Hello, hello, attention, attention! <laughs> New Polynesian tag team champions! <laughs> Big bad Mike, look at him, isn't he wonderful? My robot, one of my renegades! And his royal highness, once again, we are the Polynesian tag team champions. And you know I have to laugh, Mr. Hall. Little Haru Sasaki out here crying to Peter Maivia. Now, we all know that Peter Maivia doesn't want any part of me. He doesn't oh. want any part of me, and he sure don't want no part of Big Mad Mike. Because that's my machine. With that body and this brain, there is nobody around, nowhere, that is going to stop. Because we... Right now, my friend, are the greatest. There's more renegades on their way. You know something? Here's another flash. The other islands get ready. We may be going there soon. Isn't that wonderful? More renegades on their way on Wednesday night at Block Arena. I can tell you this. 
I hope Peter Maivia joins that little Jap. Because Big Bad Mike's gonna pound on his head and drive him right through that mat like a big nail into a board. And Peter Maivia, I got one of these to lay right up beside your big fat Samoan head if you get in my way. So join the Jap. And come on down on Wednesday, cuz. Big Bad Mike and the King are ready. <laughs> Roy Starr, Ray Stevens, Screaming Eagle, Wesley, King Ripper Collins, the White Angel, Sokalia, Tag Team Matches, Tough Tony Hall, Mighty Milo. Isn't it exciting, Chiefy? It's all happening here. They've been coming in and out, in and out and back and forth, and they're still invading the islands. Big matches at Block Arena. Things are happening no one ever expected to happen. And they're gonna get better, Chiefy. <laughs> well, I don't know what Things the are gonna there. happen, you're not gonna believe, Chiefy. Things are happening at Block Arena. The islands are alive again. Alive and thriving with wrestlers from all over the world. Just prepare yourself for many headaches. Because what I have in mind, with the monster, the robot, and the renegades, and the new ones coming and going, Chiefy, even you will need a secretary or two. <laughs> Block Arena on Wednesday! <laughs> oh, boy, that guy, I don't know what's... Uh, let's call in... Two men against two, Ripper. <laughs> I gotta tell you something. This is a big gentleman right here. He makes up for one and a half. And this one's big enough for one, so that's two and a half against two. That big dumb giant, he's getting me hotter every minute, you know. I'm gonna tell you something right now. Six foot ten at 370 pounds, I don't care how tall he is. My Mongolians are gonna take very good care of him and Steve Ricard, and the match has been signed for April the 20th at the Blaisdell Arena. So mark it on your calendar and get your tickets early because my Mongolians are the world tag team champions. And Steve Ricard, you and your big guns, you keep bringing them in and my boys are gonna keep knocking them down because I'm telling you right now, they are gonna be the worst there is in the world. And what is this? King Kabaka. There's only one king in Hawaii, and that's me. Here's great. And Giant David. That's a team that uh, is... will always outlast youth and skill, and that's exactly what I mean, because I've been around 25 years, and nobody knows any more than I do, Lord Blears. We're going to leave now. I'm sure it was your pleasure to have this time with us. Thank you. Well, I agree with your little statement. Uh, okay, sports fans, the Mongolians and Ripper Collins. Late... Indonesian champion, special event, John Tolos, the Golden Greek, going against the Assassin Tamatanga, a tag team thriller, Victor Rivera from Puerto Rico, pairing up with King Ripper Collins, going against High Chief Peter Maivia and Farmer Boy Epo. Polynesian tag team championship, Hiro Sasaki and Mr. Kuruzi, going against Sakali and Big Bad Mike. Special midget match, Curtis Tudua and Little Kevin, Mighty Milo and Tony Hall. Also, Paul Fanene were going against Tui Salinga. Plus one more match. For reservation, call 521-291. Fortunate individual. Very fortunate because I ran into a man that happened to be thinking one way and doing something else. And, hey, you know what that is? You know what that is? That's the Polynesian Heavyweight Championship belt. Okay. Then there's the angel. He's got the Hawaiian heavyweight belt. I'll have one on this shoulder, one on this shoulder. The only reason that I'm not the tag team champions is that I'm so fantastic that there can only be one of me, so it, I'm not eligible. I see that? The moment of truth. Last week came for Ripper Collins. The moment of truth came in the past for the chief. The moment of truth comes to everyone, and I am speaking it now, Roy Starr. Roy Starr, 
I'm sitting at the top of the heap now, and you're going to have to claw and scrape your way to even get close to breathing on it. The moment of truth with Canada's greatest athlete, Gil Hayes, and thank you. Well, wrestling fans, I guess that's nice. Another half hour just went by just like that. And of course, with championship wrestling right here in Hawaii. But before I go off, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to remind you again of what's coming up this coming Wednesday. Or don't blame anybody but you. Because this coming Wednesday, action, action, it'll be at the Block Arena starting at 8 o'clock. And of course, King Ripper Collins have challenged the man right behind me. That it really stunned me, and of course, maybe it stunned you people out there too. For the first time that he spoke out, and of course, he's talking about King Ripper Collins and the man that he's a new Polynesian heavyweight champion, Gil Hayes.